Okay, guys, I am sorry. I was a bit bad around, around the filming of the installation of this. Effectively, I used two of these, a big one and a little one, um, and I've, you know, attached them on and cinched them up. These have two brass, well, these, this is plastic, but behind this, I can't take it off because I've livened up the system now. Um, you'll see. If I leave this here. So you can see there's a little bit of an airlock that it was busting through, but that is now open. That's now open and all good to go, which is great. And it's got the heat side here, or the heat control. I should have filmed the installation of it. I'm sorry that I didn't. I'm, I'm also not a plumber, so it wouldn't really be a how to be a how I have done it. But what's nice is you can see that this lines up with the grout line here, so you know it's all level, which is lovely. So it's off and on. It's a very, very simple system. They're about 150 quid, these Miro ones from Screwfix. Very good value for money. So I'm gonna install the, the actual shower held handheld unit now. The screen that I bought, I got the wrong one. I got a an end panel that has to attach to a glass screen door rather than just a side panel. So I'm returning that and I'm buying a new one. It should be here in the next couple of days. It won't affect the video. I'll just have to pause the actual installation of this. So yeah, I'll pick this back up in a couple of seconds as far as you're concerned, but it'll be a day or two later for me and you will see the installation. I'll make sure I film the installation of the shower screen itself. And that will be the video finished. So hold tight. Okay, this is relatively easy to put together. It's, it's like a 3D puzzle piece really. And there's pretty clear instructions as well that are quite handy. The only thing that I won't be doing is installing this little piece here. This is the hose retaining ring. We generally find quite irritating and effectively what it does is up here where the shower is, the, the shower hose comes, well it's that piece there. It's basically the bit that stops the shower hose from dangling into a bath or something like that. But it's also the bit that stops you from being able to take the shower off and move it to spray around places. So my wife and I find these really irritating and restrictive, so I won't be installing that part. Very nice, simple mechanisms on this. If I just open this up. Nice metal ring there. This has a tightening screw in here, so this can slide in, and then I can put this in the back and tighten it up ever so slightly just to help hold that in place. So that's fine and they provide caps for the, for the top and bottom like that. So I'll cinch this up a little bit more. Don't want to cripple it but that'll hold it in place and stop it from moving. That's the second one. These mirror parts are really nicely put together. I mean, I appreciate a lot of people don't want plastic wrapping on things. I, I, I do get that these days. But wrapping everything in tissue so it all comes out nice and clean. It was the same with the shower bar. It's just really nice, really, really well thought through. So before I can slide this top one on, I need to make sure that I install this component here. So that part, that part goes in here and the hose attaches in there. It really doesn't have to be exact, it's just so that your eye doesn't see it and think that it's completely off. Right, so now that I've fitted this hose on here, what I have done is I've marked in Sharpie, but this wipes off nice and easily, where the edge of the shower screen is going to be. Now what I'm gonna do I'm actually going to flip this upside down so that the uh, holder end is on the inside because like this, I think it puts a bit too much pressure on the cable. 
coming under here. I don't like that so much. So I'm going to flip this upside down and that'll make it much easier to raise, to raise this up slightly. So it'll sit up here more like this, something like that. And the cord, the, the hose is still out of the way of, of all of this and it sits quite nicely in there. So I'm just going to flip this upside down and then go again. So this is now flipped around, this in here, that can sit out, you could even tuck that hose around the back. I want to make sure there isn't not too much tension on the hose there, it's probably about right. clean the sharpie off here before I install it. I can drill and fix and we're done. Okay, this is exactly the same as what I did down here. So I appreciate I didn't show this, I forgot, but the, with the brass, brackets that sit behind here they have that's where the copper pipe comes through the back of they have an olive so it crimps up nice and tight they also have a, a roll plug and a screw to hold it all in place and at every point that i drilled through i filled the entire thing with silicon and then then kind of put the screw in so this will get a nice liberal amount of silicon there and the same here okay I'll push the roll plug in and I'll probably fill the roll plug with silicon as well Seems to have bottomed out. So that's that cut off. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this with silicon as well, just because it's over the top. But I know that it's waterproof. It's fine. Got to make sure I remember that these little brackets go on the bottom, I don't want to install it this way up because it won't fit. Just do one at a time. Thankfully the collar of this fits inside so that's okay. Yeah, I want to, don't need it any more than that. So that's secure. Shower head, press on here, like that. That should hopefully be nice and level. That's good. The little grub screws that will sit underneath here. This one you don't need to put any silicon into because you actually don't want to fix it in. This needs to be movable and is on the underside, so water will run off it rather than running into it on something that's vertical on the wall. So this bit runs up in here, and this shower hose slots in there. I can raise it up so it will shower me. I can lower it down for little people. Because I didn't put the retaining hook on here, we can take this off and we can shower legs, shower walls, whatever it is, whereas if that retaining hook is there, it'll hold on to it, it's an absolute pain in the backside. So yeah, that is done. I'm happy with that. So like I said, just got the shower screen to attach when that arrives in a couple of days. 
And then that is done. So I'll see you back in a couple of seconds. It'll be a couple of days for me. Okay, last bit in this episode. The shower screen is here and it's called the shower wall. It's 800 wide, it's two meters tall. So really, really good coverage. It's quite heavy because it's, I think, 10 mil thick. So it's quite a big sheet of glass. And yeah, I'm looking forward to getting this installed. I've got all the bits that I need. I've got the spirit level in here because I want to make sure I get this level. Drills and tools and every other thing that I'm going to need, all the drill bits. So I, I, I think a, one tool that is possible, or one piece of kit, which is amongst the most useful for jobs like this is a marksman. If you haven't got one of these, I think I've got them listed in my uh, Amazon list below. Check it out. These things are absolutely you can't can't work can't work effectively without one of these so that'll be man of the match i reckon so yeah i'm going to jump into this now So these are the instructions, you've got all different ways that you can add and attach bits depending on what configuration you're going for. We've gone for this one here. This little additional end bit that kind of pivots and swivels in costs almost as much as the actual shower screen. So unless it's really spraying out, in my mind it's not worth it at this point for us. 100% level in all directions, that's fine. I've done that, I'm very happy with that. Okay, so this is just a protective strip at the top, corner protectors, that's fine. So you've got to take all those bits off. So this is the top, as you can see here. So those were where the corner bits were. It actually says this way up on the outside. And the reason for that is that it has a protective kind of screen film on it that helps water run off very easily. So that's useful to know. I've got help from a couple of little kittens at the minute. They're brother and sisters, little Bengals. You come to help. Yeah, and then you'd put the extension screen across to hold it kind of horizontally and vertically. But yeah, this is the thing, right? So you get this plumb and level and true and all of that. And then don't mark on the outside, mark on the inside. I'll be using the marksman for that. Uh, that's useful to know, look, six mil drill bit, plus the raw plugs which they provide and some screws. And a kitten. Fine, easy enough. Oh look, and here's their sister. So these are the two brothers, and this is their sister. Right, I've showed you one, and then I figured it'd be boring to watch me do it again three more times. That's perfect depth. This is quite a handy little tip, actually. I don't know, I mean, you could use anything really, but I'm using the, the trap filled with water to leave these in because by having them wet, it actually creates a slurry when the drill bit goes round, and it allows you to cool them down so they don't get too hot. If they do get too hot, the tip will burn, and you'll end up with it black like that, which isn't ideal. And the slurry actually helps grind it away and make, it leaves a very, very smooth hole like this. So you've got no kind of raw chipped edges and the hoover's just there to get it all away, get the paste away. That's a little top tip for you. Have a little pot of water to keep your tip wet. No idea where these have come from. There's no brand name or anything on here, but I'm pretty sure they're ceramic bits. They're absolutely brilliant. They look like kind of tips of a spear or an arrowhead. Very, very good. Can't find the six mil one though, so I'm having to use a combination of bits to get through, but it's fine, it's working. So for this next part, I actually need to carefully remove some of this strip. I just figured it would be easier for me to put it all down in one run and then snip away the bit I needed rather than trying to butt it up to and then 
for the rest of it. So I've got my holes, as you can see. So all I need to do is line this up like this with the holes there. And then I can see that I need to size it, make an incision there and there. Okay, so I can now see that without this thing in the way. So what I might do is I might even leave it like that, flip it around and put it like that, because this is going to have a rubber bit on it and that actually fits perfectly there like that. Get some silicon and actually stick this down in place, because there is a little bit of a gap at the back of the tray, which is why this is here. So I'll get some silicon, seal that in place, and then I'll do the same things I've done every other point and I'll fill all of these holes with silicon before I put the roll plug in, and that way I know I'm fully covered. So there, those are all in and flush, which is good. This one chipped out a bit, but it's not the end of the world. It's behind the panel. That is all silicon in down there. So I'm ready to screw this in. Screws in the pocket. Silicon actually helps to hold it in place as well while I get the screws. I hadn't thought about that as a benefit, but it certainly is one. I'll run down that finger after, see how far I can get these. Okay, so I have to finish the rest off by hand. Hello again. So that's the shower screen and it's coming in here. So I'm going to take all of the plastic wrap off, everything like that. You'll see at the top here, up, up in this profile, there's this protected cap. They actually do put a sticker on here telling you which way is up and which way is down. So I know that that is going to be the bottom and I'm pretty sure that this is the outside here, but I'll Basically, I'm going to leave these caps on until I've got it in place, but I need to flip this 180 degrees this way and then this way and slide it in. So that's what I'm going to do to kind of, well, I'm going to manhandle it basically. And I'll then have to just clean it afterwards because I don't have any gloves and it's too hot for gloves anyway. Styrene. Yeah, so look, this way, the stick is saying this way up, and this is the outside. So I can literally just lift it up and slide it in. That's good. That's the outside. So. Let's take this over here.
that's in and on, which is great. Now they do provide, I'm just going to keep the hand on it just in case, they do provide this rubber gasket. It's the same on both sides, so you don't have to worry so much about uh, which way up it goes, but it does go on the outside of the shower screen. And they also provide you this little kind of plastic dibber to dip it in. What I might do is go from the bottom and then run it up, and then I've got any excess that I want to be taken out at the top, which will be easier, I believe. Yeah, that there's going to be some excess. Not much. You can hear it popping. No, it's clicking in place. There we go. That's handy. So now I'll use the scalper. There we go. It's off. Well set in place actually. It's good. Okay, so that is all good. What I need to do now is set the the crossbar in place. I'll get my wife to do that. She's got fingernails. Right, that's this thing here. Right, so this bit sits on here. You actually have to chop it down to the length that you need. So I will loosen these. They give you an Allen key. There we go. So I've fixed this up onto here. And what I've done is I've just measured the depth of it using my thumb so I know exactly how deep it is and I know that I need to take the same amount off both sides assuming ah, these do not have the same level of depth in them. Well done Tom, good job for checking. Always check just in case these do not have the same level of depth in them. Yay for me. It's really bad designing actually. I don't rate that. Anyway, I'm going to measure this, get the bar cut down. Right, so in which case what I need to do is put the collet back on this. And that way I don't have to account for it. I just need to account for it on the other side. I can just put this in place roughly like this. And say, so, right, there's that much to take off. Well, that's the depth of it. So I can cut it here, it's fine. I prefer where possible to measure as little as possible and actually mark based off where things are because I think you get a, a more accurate cut rather than trying to measure it and getting it wrong. I'm going to place it on and then I can put that in like this and then I'll get a spirit level and come across. I'll then, I'll ease it off and I'll use the marksman to show me where to drill. Whether it's fully square here to here would be really nice, but isn't, isn't completely essential. It does obviously look better, but I don't think anybody visually is ever gonna be able to see. Visual check, there needs to be more like there. This marksman is ready to go. Oh, okay, so that's where I know where I'm drilling.
So because of where that landed in the board, it's literally just in the middle of the tile backer board behind here. So this, the silicon that's in this needs to really set hard before I can kind of fix anything onto it. And if that doesn't work, then I will put some ChemFix, the ChemFix compound. If you haven't seen me use the ChemFix, I'll post a video up here showing what I did for the extension at the back and the side because I used ChemFix for that. It's a brilliant product. So I'll do that. In the meantime, while that's doing, what I'm gonna do is sort out a bead of silicon down the inside of the shower screen here and also along the bottom on the inside and the outside, I'll fix some silicon in there as well. So that is secured in now. Hopefully it is secure enough that I can screw this in. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. There isn't a vast amount of kind of pressure being put on this really. So as long as that sits in there and this sits nicely in here, that's done. Now, because I have fixed this point in here, what I can do is I can measure from here to here and then I can just slide this bit along until that measurement is the same. So it can be nice and square. And that's it for the shower. I have gone around and cleaned everything up. And I'm, I'm really very, very pleased with this. I would turn it on and show you, but I can't because the silicon is still drying all down in here and along the bottom here. It needs 24 hours or so. But that is good. I'm very happy with this. The screen is nice and sturdy, vertically. There's almost no wobble on it. Silicon strip down there and this up top, plus this in here, it's, it's not going anywhere. I hope you found this process enjoyable, helpful. If you're new to the channel, please do like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. If it was really helpful to you, there is actually a super thanks button down below, which is effectively like buying me a coffee or giving a tip to say thanks. So if it was really helpful, feel free to check that out and I will see you on the next video.